Whenever the topic of electric vehicles arises, regardless of the model, a common question emerges, how far can it actually go? If this is your query, you're in luck. In this review, we will scrutinize 11 significant electric newcomers. You'll see a variety, from large to compact SUVs, as well as classic sedans, including models from Korean, German, Chinese, and American manufacturers. Notably, some flagship models from these manufacturers are included in our lineup. Our focus extends beyond just range. We aim to assess how efficient these cars are. The plan is straightforward, start with a fully charged battery and drive until it's nearly depleted, from sunrise to sunset. This extensive journey will provide deeper insights into the real-world costs of operating these vehicles on a daily basis. Ready to embark on this voyage? Electric Parade Kicking off our list is the BMW i5 electric sedan, the largest in size, stretching over 5 meters. It's a technological marvel, offering immense comfort. The perceived quality is outstanding. The iDrive 40 model boasts a battery exceeding 81 kilowatt hours, 340 horsepower, and rear wheel drive. Next up is the BYD Seal, a mid sized four door sedan from China. It stands out with its sleek design and refined lines. Inside, it doesn't disappoint either, featuring high quality finishes and notable technological features, such as the rotating multimedia system screen. This car comes with 313 horsepower and a single motor. The Fiat 600e, just over 4 meters long, presents itself as one of the smallest vehicles in the test and also the most affordable. Its 51 kilowatt hour battery is ideal for city driving and short trips beyond. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 grabs attention with its innovative tear-shaped design, optimized for maximum aerodynamics. It houses a 77 kilowatt hour battery, making it a strong contender in this challenge. The Jeep Avenger, a cousin of the Fiat 600e in size and mechanics, is aesthetically appealing. It retains the brand's character, including the iconic 7-slot front grille. From Korea, the Kia EV9 is a large SUV with a futuristic, boxy design. It stands out for its cargo capacity and the possibility of up to 7 seats. Though the specified model has rear-wheel drive, its battery packs 96 kilowatt hours. Moving to Japan, the Lexus RZ marks the brand's foray into the electric segment. It's a large SUV but with a 64 kilowatt hour battery. The design is modern, and the interior, crafted with high-quality materials, offers ample comfort. The Lucid, with its 830 horsepower and a 112 kilowatt hour battery, is the 5-meter American sedan dazzling Europe. Its 900-volt technology enables rapid charging, adding 167 kilometers of range in just 5 minutes. The Tesla Model 3, well known to many, features a new, more minimalist design and updated technology. The long-range version has a 75-kilowatt-hour battery and dual motors, standing out among competitors. The Toyota BZ4X is Toyota's first electric vehicle. A nearly 4-meter 70 long SUV, it impresses with its spaciousness and equipment. The instrument panel is fixed, and the steering wheel adjusts independently. Lastly, the Volkswagen ID.7 is viewed by some as an electric version of the Passat. However, it differs in size, mechanics, and design. Its framework houses a 77-kilowatt-hour battery, a 286 horsepower motor, and rear wheel drive. Titans Duels. In this chapter, we delve into intriguing themes that captured my attention during a dynamic test. The face off between the BYD SEAL and the Tesla Model 3 immediately comes to mind. Here, we witness a competition between the United States and China through two vehicles quite similar in design and color. However, nuances set them apart. The BYD boasts a considerably larger battery and is 200 kilograms heavier. In contrast, the Tesla Model 3 shines with its greater power, a factor that could prove decisive. Aerodynamics also plays a crucial role, especially above 90 km per hour, where the aerodynamic coefficient becomes pivotal. In this aspect, Hyundai with its Ioniq 6 and Volkswagen with the ID.7 stand out for their investments. 
The question remains, which of the two is more efficient? Another interesting competition occurs within the Stellantis group, involving the new Fiat 600e and the Jeep Avenger. These cars are very similar, even in weight. The difference might lie in the Avenger's more rectangular design, which, theoretically, could negatively impact its aerodynamics. To assess efficiency, we followed specific rules, circulating on a track counterclockwise, with a speed limit of 130 km per hour, reduced to 110 and tunnel speed variations could drop to zero. We maintain the climate control at 22 degrees, with automatic ventilation and windows closed. Driving was in normal mode with just one occupant per vehicle. A complete lap on the track is approximately 68.2 kilometers. The test concludes when the battery hits 5%, at which point data are recorded, and the nearest charging station is sought. During the test, all vehicles remained connected by radio, traveling in a caravan and regenerating energy during braking. Climatology is a factor, we conducted the test with temperatures between 10 and 14 degrees. In most vehicles, we used summer tires, with pressures checked before departure. It's worth noting that tires can influence up to 10% of an electric car's consumption, which is why many manufacturers develop specific tires for zero-emission vehicles, like those from Pirelli Elect. Beyond Stellantis, another noteworthy competition occurs between models from Toyota and Lexus. The Lexus, being larger, more luxurious, powerful, and heavier, presents nuances that could be decisive, despite sharing the same battery. The Kia EV9, a massive seven-seater SUV weighing 2,500 kilograms, is another model of note. Despite its weight, its performance is intriguing. The new BMW i5, with 340 horsepower and carefully designed aerodynamics, is a promising competitor, not necessarily to win but to significantly stand out. And finally, what about the Lucid, the spacecraft from America? How far do you think it can go? Electric Cars Analysis Now, it's time to examine the gathered data. Let's start with range. The Lexus and Toyota were the first to stop not completing four laps and with a range under 250 kilometers. Next, the Fiat and Jeep showed slightly better performances, with 275 and 282 kilometers, respectively. We observed an increase in range as the battery size grows, evidenced by the 400 kilometers of the Volkswagen ID.7, the 448 of the KV9, the 452 of the B-White diesel, and the 476 of the Hyundai Ioniq 6. In the top three, the BMW i5 takes third place with 489 kilometers, followed by the Tesla Model 3 in second, and leading is the Lucid, nearing 600 real kilometers. Although below expectations, it's impressive for a model with over 80,000 horsepower. Moving to energy consumption, Crucial for determining usage cost, the Tesla Model 3 stands out with just 15.1 kWh per 100 km, a low value considering its power and all-wheel drive. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 follows closely, with 15.5 kWh per 100 km. Also noteworthy are the 16.6 kWh of the BMW i5, an excellent value for a powerful sedan and close to the official figure. The Fiat 600e also impresses, surpassing the BYD and the Jeep Avenger, thanks to its body design. Following are the Volkswagen ID.7, Lucid, and Kia EV9. The Korean model deserves mention for maintaining consumption at 21.4 kWh per 100 km, despite its weight. Toyota and Lexus, again, round out the list. As for the cost of use, directly related to consumption and charging needs, we facilitated comparison by calculating the energy expense for each model per 100 kilometers. This includes from home charging, at 19 cents per kilowatt hour, to high power charging, faster and more expensive, ideal for long trips. To conclude this test, I suggest reviewing the results in detail. Understanding these data helps become familiar with electric vehicles and identify the technical specifications that best meet your needs. Range and efficiency may not be crucial for everyone, 
but they are significant indicators of technological progress in this sector, which we will continue to explore. Now we want to hear from you, which was your favorite in this analysis? Are range and efficiency priorities for you? Share your thoughts here in the comments.